Stay tuned for this DIY Minecraft jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Find Your Grace Studio, where we love creativity and collectibles. In this video, we're back with another Minecraft DIY. That's right, in this video, we're showing you guys how to make a Minecraft jack-o'-lantern. We love Halloween, we love carving pumpkins, and when we saw this Minecraft jack-o'-lantern, we knew we wanted to make a version of it. As you can see, it's good size, about eight inches wide. It's even got a light inside. Awesome project, similar to some of our other Minecraft projects. Such as this really cool parrot, as well as this diamond sword. And if you guys are interested in seeing videos on how we made these things, go check out our creative playlist. Let's go ahead and jump into this project and show you how to make a Minecraft jack-o'-lantern. Fine tip, creative studio. All right, we're gonna start this project by making an eight by eight inch wooden box. Using some wood glue and some nails, we'll go ahead and assemble this box. In this next step, we're gonna be using screws for the bottom because you want it to be removable as we're going to be installing a light feature. Next, we'll apply a little spackling to cover the holes and then move on to sanding. In this next step, we're building this Minecraft jack-o'-lantern face. We'll be using a template with some wood glue, some one inch blocks, and some half inch blocks. We use the template to map out where our one inch blocks go, and then we can start gluing this face together. So a problem we ran into with this project is that the craft blocks aren't true to size. The one inch and the half inch blocks are actually a little bit smaller, which creates a gap in our pattern. To solve this problem, we're gonna place the gap in the smallest area and then fill it with some putty. All right, problem solved, that looks great. Next up, we're gonna apply a coat of primer. Thank you. 
moving right along, we're gonna paint the inside brown. And then using the base plate, we're gonna measure for center and screw down our light feature. And once that's done, we're gonna give it a coat of brown paint to hide the fixture. Moving on to the exterior, we start by mapping out a half inch grid for our block paint job. The grid pattern is done, next up will be the paint job. We recommend starting with the lightest color and working your way towards the darkest color. Mixing up your colors, be sure to make enough as this paint job will require multiple coats. For the last step, we recommend a clear coat to ensure you have a durable paint job. And once that's done, project complete. And now you know how to make a Minecraft jack-o-lantern. We had a lot of fun with this project and loved the way it turned out. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below. The jack-o'-lantern designs in that game, I think, look really cool. I love how he looks kind of like a rotten pumpkin. Yeah, we right? know. it's really fun. He's got fun. that cool rotten pumpkin look. I also like the, how it's not symmetrical, kind of. It's really cool how they have the eyes different, kind of like it was like wonkly carved. Right. And really cool how they use the different oranges and browns to give it those curves. We should carve this face into a regular pumpkin. Yeah, it, can, it looks kind of derpy though. <laughs> Stay tuned because we're probably going to carve this shape into one of our foam pumpkins. If you're into Halloween and pumpkin carving, we got a bunch of cool pumpkin carving videos. Check those out in our We Love Halloween playlist. We got a lot more coming. Maybe we'll build a body for this guy and make a fun little Minecraft <laughs> Halloween prop. But we also got that parrot, the Minecraft diamond sword. And if you guys want to know how to make any of these, go check out our creative playlist where we show how we made these. If you guys like this project, 
let us know in the comments below if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time fine tip creative studio